Hello everyone, this is Dare here. How is your trading going? I hope it is going very well. Right, today we will talk about the average true range. Average true range is an indicator, so we will discuss what it is, how to calculate it, we will discuss the uses of ATR. There are two uses for ATR as an indicator and also for placing stops and we'll discuss four rules of ATR and finally we practicalize uh, the ATR method. So what is ATR? The average true range or ATR indicator was developed by J. Wells Welder to measure the volatility of price changes. Initially for the commodities markets where volatility is more prevalent but it is now widely used by forex traders as well. ATR is considered a volatility indicator as it measures the distance between a series of previous highs and lows for a specific number of period. As volatility increases, so will ATR and vice versa. Traders will use this indicator to gain a perception of what recent historical value is in order to prepare an execution plan for trading, setting stops and entry points at beneficial levels to prevent being stopped out or whipsawed are seen as benefits of these indicators. So how do we calculate ATR? Like any other indicator, ATR is calculated by picking a time period. 14 days is a commonly used and adding the present day's true range to that of the previous 13 days, then divide by 14. This will be your initial ATR. So your initial ATR is today's true range plus the 13 previous true range divided by 14. Uh, there are three scenarios where when calculating your true range, three possibilities. One is today's high and today's low. So you take today's low out from today's high will give you the true range. Second possibility, today's high and yesterday close. So when there is a gap up, it will be yesterday close and today's high. So take away yesterday close from today's high and the last prob probability or possibility is today's low and yesterday close. So you take away when there's a gap uh, down. So you take away today's low from yesterday close will give you the true range. So how do we use ATR? What is it used for? Okay. Uh, two uses of ATR. One as an indicator. Average true range is often used as an indicator. It doesn't necessarily predict anything, but extremes in activity can indicate a change in price movement. Higher ATRs can mean a currency pair is trending, and lower ATR could indicate a consolid consolidation in price. Okay, so uh, the way I use my ATR is to find when there is no trend in the market and that shows when the ATR is extremely low. So when the ATR is extremely low, there is no trend in the market. Uh, so I will draw a line on my ATR. I could place the line anywhere I like, but I will place it where I know the ATR to be low. So anything below that line, I termed it as low ATR, that is non-trending market, and anywhere, anything up above that line will be trending market. Like here, you see here is no trend, here there's no trend because ATR is low, okay? The second use of ATR is for stop placement, 
okay you can use ATR to place your stops increasing your chances of having only the necessary stops enacted as opposed to getting stopped out prematurely from a winning trade let's assume that you are in a trade okay ATR is not used to start a trade it is used to manage a trade so let's say you are in a trade already a buy position and you don't know how to manage that position throw in this ATR stop this is called ATR stop indicator so it will give you levels where you can trail your position so you can see it trail your position nicely this price never touch this ATR so it just trail the position until here when it touches the ATR and then you are stopped out similar here also here and also there so two ways where you can use ATR as an indicator where you can use it to find range and secondly to place your stop okay so we have four rules if you are going to use ATRs as an indicator there are four rules you need to be mindful of I have put these four rules in a PDF file uh, this is a PDF document rule number one when used as an indicator ATR actual dollar amount is not significant higher volatility currency pair should have higher true ranges so number two uh, number three I will not read all of this for you uh, if you want this there are only four of them if you want these PDF files the uses of ATR I am happy to send it across to you um, so it is four in numbers so if you want it I will be glad to, to send it now let us go for practical applications of ATR as we just mentioned this indicator is called the ATR stop okay ATR stop uh, it has a length ATR period and KV KV is the multiplier okay so if you change any of this it will change the way it trail your price okay so assuming this is uh, this is today's we are we are currently right now and this is a market that is currently going on you can see that the price assuming you are in this uh, in this trade and you need to follow your price you need to tra trail your price you throw in this indicator it will trail your price nicely as the price changes you keep moving your stop loss following this indicator you keep moving your stop loss and finally you stopped out here because this is when price touches the ATR stop so now let's assume that you are selling here so let's say you, you sold the market here now assuming you sold the market here you will wait for this ATR and use it to trail your uh, trade okay as we say also second use of the indicator is uh, of ATR is as an indicator so this ATR could be used to determine when the volatility volatility is low that means range band trading so you will put ATR on your chart and then you will draw a line the line could be you could put the line anywhere you like on the ATR but I will want to put it somewhere where I know uh, anything below it uh, is a low volatility area so anything below this area here is vol low volatility above it is high volatility so you can see from the beginning of this chart from here up to here look like they are all range band market but as soon as the ATR goes up you see we are in trending market so we are trending 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 until we really got here and we start ranging market again and then trend start again from here upwards and then we come back start into range market because ATR has fell below your line and as we speak now right now ATR is below the line so this is a range market so what does that mean one 
if you are trading range perfect so along when all this range when ATR says you are in a range then you can pick the top and bottom buy at the bottom sell at the top because ATR is low it's a safe trading at that point uh, however if you are a trend trader then you will avoid when the ATR is low and you only trade when the ATR is high when the ATR is above your level the line you have drawn when ATR is above that level that is when you trade as a trend trader okay so in summary ATR is a durable indicator that can be that can serve you well in your trading range and volatility are fundamental concepts in technical analysis and true range comes up frequently not only as a concept but also as the underlying calculation in more complex indicators ATR reflect the trading range and knowing this can allow you to more accurately buy and sell into trend as well as set your stops so the, uh, the indicator you are looking on the chart here is ATR and it comes by default with MetaTrader Okay, so you have it on your charts or on your platform however this other indicator which is called the ATR stop it is not by default on MetaTrader so it's a custom indicator so I am happy to send it to you as usual guys everyone uh, subscribe to the channel make a comment on this video and if possible share the video among your friends and then insert your email address in your comment add your email address to your comment and I will send to you this ATR stop indicator and as well I will add the ATR indicators rule for you so guys thank you so much for staying tuned and for good comments so far it's lovely to hear from you guys with your comments and I will be speaking to you shortly again with another video. Thank you so much and talk to you soon. It's Dari.